Today we're going to be working on doing an acrostic name using Microsoft Word. This assignment allows you to format text and you are going to create an acrostic of your name. An acrostic is a list of words that start with certain letters and you are going to do an acrostic that describes you that uses each letter in your first name. Open up a new blank document in Microsoft Word. When you get to Microsoft Word, you want to change the margins to 0.25 on all sides to give you the most amount of white space to work with. You are going to go to Layout tab, Margins, Custom Margins, and you are going to change your top, bottom, left, and right to 0 0.25. And then you're going to select OK. Do not change the gutter space. It always stays at 0. After you have inserted the margins correctly, you are going to now work on your acrostic. To get started, you are going to work with WordArt. Go to the Insert tab at the top of your screen and select under the text group WordArt and select Fill Black Text Color 1 Shadow, the most basic WordArt. In that box, you are going to type in the first letter of your first name only. Then you are going to select that letter and you are going to go to the Home tab and Size and you are going to select a larger size. If your name is a short name, you might consider typing in a larger size in the box because it will fill up the page. After you have adjusted the size of your font, now you are going to work on changing the font and design of your letter. You are going to select from the font list, you are going to choose a font that is creative from your font list and you are going to choose that font to apply to your letter. Next you are going to change the font color. You can do this by selecting the color or the A with the underline in Microsoft Word. And remember, I'm on the Home tab. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some text effects. I'm going to do this by clicking on the blue A for type effects and I have many different options here. I can outline my text in a different color, I can apply a shadow, a reflection, or a glow. So play around with these and apply a style to your text. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to find a word that describes me that, dis that starts with that letter. And so I'm going to once again go to the Insert tab and click on Text and I'm going to select Word Art again and I'm going to select that first Word Art and I'm going to move it next to my word. And in this box, I'm going to think of a letter or a word that describes me that starts with an E because that's the first letter of my name. And I'm going to type that in the box. Now just like I did with the other box, I need to go back to the Home tab and I'm going to probably change that to be larger. If I want to move the text around, I always click on the border of the box which allows me to free move the box and I'm going to select a different color and I most likely I'm going to select a different font and then I'm going to select maybe a different style so that both elements look different. Now I am done with my first letter of my first name. 
I'm going to continue to build my acrostic down the page so that I have my full name going down the page. If I have a very long name, I'm going to choose my nickname. After I finish, my page should look something like this. You can use the zoom slider in the lower right corner to zoom out so that you can see your full name going down on the page. Keep in mind that these words have been warped. And if you would like to do that, that is an advanced skill. You can select on that text box, click on the shape format tab, click on the shape effects from that menu, and go to transform, and you can warp the text however you would like. To save, I'm gonna click on file, save as, or save a copy, I'm going to navigate to my student folder and I'm going to save it as acrostic name and I'm going to change it from a Word document, a docx, to a PDF. A PDF is a screen printed document so you will lock in your fonts, colors, and style so your teacher will be able to see your work. Once I click PDF, it will print it or save it as a PDF, and I will turn in the PDF document.